Hello YouTube fam! We are back with another small space makeover in my parents' house. If you've been following along, we just made over my parents' guest bedroom in the basement and I am so glad that you guys love the makeover because it definitely was something different for me. If you missed it, make sure to go back and watch it. But for today's video, we are working on the front entryway. This is an area that desperately needs help and it's funny because whenever my parents come over, they definitely check out my closets because they just love how I did all them. Sometimes I feel like they like the closets more than the actual rooms, so I want to give them an organized closet that they can actually use. I also asked them what kind of styles they like, so farmhouse or Scandinavian or modern, but they basically said they want it just like mine, so that is what we're going to give them today, except make it a little bit more customized to their own needs. I honestly have been waiting for this day because this is the same closet that I grew up with and it was always such a mess, so I'm very excited to give them some DIY solutions solutions and I just want to make their lives a little bit less chaotic because they definitely deserve that. I also want to thank Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video and now let me show you guys what we are working with. This is how my family has lived literally my entire life. We just leave our shoes in the front like this piled up no rhyme or reason and if you go into the closet there is even more. This front closet is pretty tiny. There are two shelves at the top and you can see we're just hanging all the coats up here and it's also bowing because this thing is really old. My family moved into this house over 20 years ago so I'm pretty sure this has just been left the way it was ever since. And of course the biggest problem we have is shoes so... <laughs> Who's there? Ever since I can remember, this has been a huge problem and my sister and I have both moved out. We thought the situation would get better, but it's basically the same and there's only three people living in this house. So this needs to change. It's literally just piles of shoes. And growing up, I remember I would have to dig through here to find my shoe. So I want to give my parents a little bit of peace of mind that they can go into the closet, find their stuff, and not have to stress over it. This is gonna be fun. How does she have so many shoes? Our one Halloween decoration every year since I was little, this pumpkin. Oh my God. Wait, these are badminton. I love badminton. Oh. That's my old purse. I wanna take these home. I was in the badminton club in high school. This has not been open for years though. Oh God, there's so much dust on them. Do you wanna play after this? You don't wanna try me. This closet definitely brought back some memories because there are so many things in here that I have not seen in years. And I think it's time to put some of these items into storage, especially because an entryway closet is precious real estate. It really should be used for items that you're using daily. So I'm gonna sort this all out to make it easy for my parents to find everything they need quickly. Aw, I remember wearing this dress. Sometimes I would borrow my mom's dresses for events and this is a dress that I wore one time. And it's kind of nice going through this closet because it brings back a lot of memories. I haven't seen some of these items for like, for example, this one. It's probably 10 years ago that I wore this. Time to tackle Shoe Mountain. What are those? <laughs> So this house was built in the 50s, so I'm assuming that these wood panels were added way back when because we have these all over our basement, so I'm assuming this is from the same time it was built. The wood definitely made the closet a lot darker, so now with a fresh coat of paint, it's going to be so much easier to actually see what's in the closet to grab and go. Is 
this is the rainiest summer ever you guys it is so ugly out but we are gonna work on the garage and i have a ton of shelves to cut today i'm working with some melamine boards and i also have pre-made shelves here i just have to cut them down but these are kind of a melamine material as well also i didn't realize that all the sides of this don't have any edging to them so i'm gonna need to buy some i've never done like melamine edge banding before so that will be interesting here i have a bunch of pre oh my god i can never say that pre-primed pine this is just leftover that i had at the house and i want to use as much of it as i can so hopefully this is going to be enough i'm basically just going to make it work and then i did grab a new closet rod which we are going to cut to size <laughs> I love the DIY shoe rack that I made for my entryway so much that I'm going to make a new and improved version for my parents' home to house all of their frequently worn shoes. This was majorly inspired by this picture that I saw on Pinterest and the price on it is a little bit higher than I would like to spend on a shoe rack, so we're gonna create our own. P.S. I'm using self-driving screws because ain't nobody got time to make pilot holes. Instead of these sitting flat against the wall, I'm creating a slight angle to make placing the shoes in it super easy. And what's great about this project is that you can make this to the exact size that you need it to be. For this space, I'm going to make two of them and they're going to fit right onto the pony wall. Look at this. This actually turned out better than I thought it was going to. It looks so sleek and it's totally going to hold all the shoes that my parents needed to. Guys, look at my mom. I got a bunch of comments asking to do a little update on my paint and sip garden party, which I had a couple of weeks ago now. I did a bunch of updates over on Instagram, so if you're not following me over there, make sure you do so. It turned out really great, even though the weather was so bad that day, it rained, so I ended up moving it downstairs into the basement, which honestly wasn't a big deal because I have my bar set up, and we still had so much fun just painting our little pots and sipping on wine and eating. And I actually used to not be a wine person until a couple of years ago I took a trip to Napa and I discovered that wine it really isn't that intimidating once you figure out what you like and I'm excited that Bright Cellars is sponsoring this video because they are bringing the fun back to wine I cannot rave about them enough because they make finding a wine that you like really fun and also really easy I know a lot of people already love Bright Cellars but if you're new to them they are a subscription box with over a hundred different wines personally I'm still a little bit of a newbie so I started with their seven question quiz and right away it matched me up with different wines that I would like and really personalize my box and you can swap them out if you want so for my box I mostly chose white wines but I also picked out a couple of reds because I want to be a red wine person I just have to find the right ones they also have a sip of the month which is really fun because then you get a surprise wine for the month and I am excited to try this rosé and also the packaging of all of the wine bottles are so beautiful I am using some of them as decor in the background right now you also get these cards which are honestly beautiful. I love all the artwork on them, but on the back side you get all the tasting notes and really get to understand the different wines that are coming in your box. And it also tells you what it pairs great with and I honestly am just excited to have wine all the time at my house, especially now that it's summertime and we love to entertain. I'm always going to have a drink on hand for my guests. Plus, if you're invited to any parties and you need a last minute little hosting gift, grab a bottle of wine and it is perfect and ready to go. If you want to try out Bright Cellars for yourself, they are giving you your first six bottle subscription box for only $70. It's usually $150, so this is a great deal and I will have all the info down below so you can get started with the quiz. But if for any reason you don't like one of your bottles, they will replace it for free and you can also cancel and skip at any time. All that info will be below for you guys. And now let's get back into the makeover. Can you guys hear the cicadas? 
They're so loud right now. Okay, anyways, we are getting started on the shoe racks that are going inside the closet. My plan is to make four of them, and these are going to be pretty wide, so hopefully it fits all of the shoes. And instead of doing support cleats that are going to go on the sides of the walls, I'm actually just going to make these risers so that I could stack them on top of each other. So this isn't going to be a permanent solution, which is actually great, especially for those of you who are renting and need an option for all of your shoes. I think I mentioned that this is melamine, so this is going to be easy easy to just wipe clean. I just have to cut it down with my circular saw and then do edge banding on the outer edge. Okay, let's try out this motion sensor light bulb. I really don't know how this works. Okay, so it did turn off, so let's see. Oh wait, it turned back on. Let's wait for it to turn off again. I don't think this is a motion sensor light automatically turns off after 35 seconds okay it is off wow that thing is really sensitive right when i stepped towards it it turned on well as long as it turns off hello you guys it is install day it's also really hot today so i'm glad that i'm mostly going to be inside the house i have my iron ready because we are going to edge band the melamine board i've never actually done this before but it should be the same process as doing wood edge band this one is just like a plastic edge so fingers crossed that goes well but other than that i just have to assemble everything into the house and then we're going to have to organize all of it I'm actually gonna start in the middle because that's what is most important. And I always mess this up, so I wanna make sure I get it right. Ooh, I should use tape. Using that painter's tape was totally a pro move and it made it so much easier to glue down. And I don't know if it's just me, but I also felt that the glue on this was actually a lot stronger than regular old wood edge banding. So it was super quick for me to get on. And once it's cooled down, you can just snip the ends right off. Before anyone says that there's a lot of white going on in this closet, just know that I was itching to add some color in here, but my parents really just wanted to be white and minimal, so their wish was my command. That's pretty sturdy. And I know we're like in the middle of summer right now, but this is actually the perfect time to tackle a front entryway closet or any coat closet that you have at home because you're not really using it. So while I was working on this, it wasn't a huge inconvenience for my family because they weren't going in at all to use it. And it really only took me a couple of days. So if you have a free weekend this summer and have a disaster of a closet like this was, take this as your sign to get it done. Okay, so originally I was going to do four of these shelves, but I think it's going to be a little bit too high and I still want to be able to fit winter jackets on here. So I guess I cut an extra one for no reason. This is one of their longer jackets and I think we're going to put it about this height and there's enough clearance underneath for some more shoes. So I think we're just going to stop it here. <laughs> Okay, first try, let's see if it fits. Ah, oh my god, that has never happened before. Yay! Now this is a closet. Perfect. Okay, we're almost at the finish line. I just have to put up that last shelf so I have everything measured out. I have my two support cleats here. I already pre-drilled the holes. So now I'm gonna add my anchors, screw those in, and then add the shelf on top. Here's the trick. I have to map out where these holes are, so I'm just gonna line it up where it's all nice and leveled. And then I'm just gonna drill a little hole to make my mark. And now I know where to put my anchors. 
I got more of your head than the screw. <laughs> pretty sturdy. Let's put some shoes. Oh my god. This makes me so happy. Oh yeah. As a finishing touch, I'm adding these baskets to the inside of the closet to store things like hats, gloves, and scarves. I did this in my own home and I absolutely love it. And now we're finally going to get all the shoes, coats, and everything else back into its new home. Just in case you forgot, this is what the closet looked like before. It was a huge disaster. It was so dark in there that you really couldn't see where anything was ever. And after making some custom DIY solutions, we finally have a place that is in order, is functional, and also looks great. So here is the after. <laughs> honestly just made my heart so happy because we finally have some storage in that house. I can't believe we took a mountain of shoes and was able to create a system that houses 60 pairs of shoes, which hopefully is enough for my parents. Otherwise, I seriously need them to purge some of them because they have way more shoes than even I have. Let me know your thoughts on this makeover in the comments below, and I hope this gave you some inspo for your own spaces. I'm just so glad that that closet is done because my parents are planning on redoing their whole living room, so this is a great way to kickstart that. If you want to see more updates from me, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I post on there every single day, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!